Okay, let's take a look at the prompt. And the first issue is we want to make sure that we understand the variables <clears throat> that are occurring here. So we don't have the luxury of collecting. So this is sort of an ideal, sort of utopian situation that he's saying. We, we don't have that. We have to deal with what is real, what is now. Okay, so I'm beginning to make some, these are some warrants here that I'm creating. And so we're talking about leadership. So at some point, right, there has to be a perception of the leader of the right moment. And of course, <clears throat> decisions have to be made, right, in terms of in terms of the nature of danger. Okay, so I think we we need a little bit more work in terms of fleshing out the <clears throat> components. It's not like He's not talking about haphazard or recklessness. He's he's talking about fighting this issue. Okay, so that that's important. Then this <clears throat> the next point, remember, is that in your thesis you want to make sure that we know your position. Okay, so in the verb position, you can do that, right? He correctly, or the adverb position, incorrectly. <clears throat> so this is your agree, disagree issue. And then you are going to use some language of the prompt to make sure that we know that you understand the prompt, and then you're going to add some of those additional warrants. Okay, now the other big issue is inside the paragraphs. So remember, watch where your L1 is, okay? And the topic string needs to have some of this warrant or prompt language here so that we can, you can help us understand why this is an example of your particular position. So really pay attention, there's some weak topic strings and that created a situation where it wasn't clear how does that fit how does the l1 fit so i think this is where we want to take some time with the revision okay